Hello, everybody. Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. So excited to be here crafting with you today. Let me know in the chat as you're hopping on. I'm going to try to get my table up a little higher so you can see what we are doing. I'm going to get you pulled up on my phone here so I can see comments. So please say hello in the comments as you're hopping on so I can say hi to you. Hello, Rita. Thanks for being here. Okay. Hope everyone is having a great night. Hello, Carleen. I'm excited to be back here. Last week, this time, I was not feeling very well at all. So I had to cancel my live. So I'm happy to be here tonight and excited to craft with you. Hello, Carol. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Kathy. Glad everybody is here. So because YouTube prefers the wide format, I think I will still have to tip down the iPad when I'm crafting. You can see a little bit more over here. I maybe can go up a little higher and maybe just use this portion over here. I'm not sure. Trying to get this so you guys can see the most of my, that might work. Who cares if the top of my head is cut off? So, hi, Deborah and Marlene. Yay. Awesome. Okay, it is 9.02. We are going to get going. And what I have for you today, um, I, a while back, saw a video where you could make like a watercolor look on watercolor paper using Crayola markers. And that's cool and everything, but I was wondering, will it work on like canvases? Because my idea is to do a watercolor kind of a wash, um, but using the marker method and then sealing it and then being able to stencil on it. So I thought we would try that tonight. And I have a couple, so I have some of these square canvases. How big are these? These are like seven inches square. Um, so we can either just stencil on this or we can unwrap it and we can make a reverse canvas where you take the frame then and put it on top. Um, I also have some of these boards. These are like eight by eight, I think. These are from Michael's. Let me check. Yep, eight inches square. So these aren't the wrapped canvases, but they're the boards. I think it would work on here as well. Um, and then I do have a slightly larger eight by 10 Dollar Tree canvas. So that is kind of what I thought we would play around with um, tonight. Hopefully that sounds good to you guys. And let's see, where are we on here? I want to make sure I can see your comments. Awesome. We got some people on. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to show you a couple of the ones I did earlier. I did this one. I'm going to have to get back here where my light is. This was my first attempt. I used some purple, pink, um, and then it was really muted. So then I went back and did some orange and green. And I'm going to show you how I did this. I figure if I don't like how it turned out, I can always paint over this, but we'll, um, this one is already watercolored and dried, and I did some matte finish Mod Podge. Oh yeah, I forgot to say all my regular stuff. So I appreciate if you guys come on, if you give the video a thumbs up, if you like when I come live and craft with you on Thursday nights, um, that would be amazing. I see there's about 44 of you on, and we've got 11 thumbs. So let's get that those thumbs up. Then this one, I liked the colors much better. So this one, I'll probably uh, stencil something in black paste. And then this one I thought was so pretty. I thought since it's kind of darker, I used, um, let's see, what did I use? Battery charged blue, raspberry. 
I might have used a little bit of regular pink and then I used royal purple method to do this one. This would look really pretty with some white, I think, chalk paste. Some, and I'll show you some options we have for stenciling. I did, I'll show you this, I did try to do it on unfinished wood and it kind of really soaked in. So I was just kind of playing around um, with some different ideas. All right, so let's do another one of these square ones. Oh, and the other thing I discovered is they do not have to be washable Crayola markers. They just are Crayola markers. So um, don't worry, I have this huge tub. I wanna show you this huge tub. So this is what happens when you work in Sunday school. This is our big tub of markers. <laughs> so I have lots of colors. And really the prettier colors, I think, are the not washable. It might just be because of the packs that I have, but um, I'm really liking these colors. So we can, um, but you can do any colors you want. Like maybe you guys can give me some ideas of some three or four colors that you'd like to see go together. But what I'm gonna do is I have, now I've seen people do this with like a big Ziploc bag. I'm using a sheet protector. You love the dark colors? Awesome. And what I did is on one side, I don't even know if you can see. Can you see there's a black, like, Sharpie square? Maybe if I hold it up in front of the canvas. So I traced, just so I kind of knew the outline of, I'm going to move over here so you guys can see better. Um, traced the outline of the size of the canvas. So I just kind of knew what area to kind of shoot for. Okay, so I have the sleeve and then I'm picking out, I might wanna get some yellow in here. Let's get some yellow. All right, so I've got these four colors that we're gonna go with. Thank you so much for, um, what do you mean you sprinkled? Did you just like share the YouTube video? That's awesome, thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna just color blobs with my Crayola markers, just kind of like here, there, everywhere. I know this is probably hard to see because I have a dark mat, let's see. That's a little better, you can kind of see. So you can see my purple. All right, let's do some of the blue. And they're all gonna mix because we're gonna use water. We're wanting this to have like a watercolor effect and to kind of blur together like this. It looks really, really pretty. All right, now let's fill in yellow. Ooh, I'm gonna like that. So we might get some green where the yellow and the blue kind of mix together. We might get a little orange. All right, so this is what it looks like. This, I would also say, is another fun project you could do with kids or grandkids. Just give them um, a sheet like this or even the Ziploc bag idea if you wanna do that. Now, because this is very dry, I am going to just missed a tiny bit of water on my canvas. I don't want it sopping wet, just a little. And then I'm just gonna do tiny little spritz, okay, on my, where I colored the marker. I'm gonna move this where you guys can see it. Okay, then I'm just gonna turn it upside down. And I'm gonna start pressing down and kind of mixing hopefully the colors. And sometimes um, I notice that you might have to pick it up, maybe get it a little wet. Let me show you, I'm not gonna take it off, but this is what it looks like right now with the plastic still on. What do you guys think? Hey everybody, I will come back and uh, chat with you. Ooh. Okay. Now I see that this top corner, this corner here with the purple needs a little help. So I'm just going to spritz a little bit more water there. 
and I'm gonna put that corner back on or even just put some plastic there. You can kind of just mix it a little bit. Now you don't want to keep mixing too much because then you can get some really, really like black. We don't really want black. Okay, you can use a little brush if it needs a little help. And then where these dark spots are where there's excess water, I'm just gonna take a paper towel and just barely dab it. I see this corner up here too where the teal is. Sometimes the corners are hard to get because of um, just the frame being under there. So the nice thing is you can just kind of, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna color marker right on there, spray some water and just kind of mix it around with the other side of my sleeve, my sheet protector. All right, so here's what we have. What do you guys think about that? I really like those colors. And then we'll take our heating tool, if I can untangle it from everything, and you can just dry it. This is really, really pretty. Maybe what we'll do with this one is do the reverse canvas, where we'll take it off the frame. What do you guys think about that? So you could definitely do this with Dollar Tree canvases. We should try one on the canvas boards as well, just to see I mean, I'm sure it would work the same. Isn't that pretty? I like that yellow in there. on its own but basically all you need is the markers I did these four colors I know isn't that so cool I love it and I did a sheet protector and a little bit of water and then the cool thing about this is I can just clean this off and I can just use it over and over again as many times as I want to for anything that is this size or smaller okay put that in with our markers for now we will come back and we'll try another one maybe just with some purple or something so let's come to one that is already dry and then I did do a layer of matte finish Mod Podge over it I wanted to kind of seal seal the pores of our canvas and hopefully get it kind of more um, a flat finish. I did not sand it. Sometimes I've seen people maybe want to sand it a little bit to get it a little more smooth, but I'm hoping that the Mod Podge did basically that same thing. So, all right, so I have lots of stencil options that we could do. Um, I thought this one would be cute, even if we just did the Bless bless our home could do that we could do just the words of it is well with my soul i put that over top and it looks like it would fit um we've got our faith hope love family arrows we could just do um maybe faith hope love the words i thought this one would be cute to just do the word hello i think i might do the hello on this really bright one and then we also have the quads so i thought the uh, the home quads would be really cute as well so let's do let's do the oh hello but we're just going to do the word hello thank you annette thanks everybody for being here for giving the video a thumbs up 
All right, so we're just gonna do the word hello. So I'm just gonna stick my backer sheet behind the word O oh, so it doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick. Okay, how many of you have kids or grandkids that you think this would be a fun project to do with them? Go to the Dollar Tree, get some markers if you don't already have some. Get some canvases. You can even do the little ones, like the five by sevens that they have at Dollar Tree. That would be really cute. Okay. So I think you can see off to the side here. I'm going to try to get this centered. All right. Now, because this is a canvas and it's hollow on the bottom, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna press from the other side as well to try and really get in those spaces. And if I had something, hmm. I might put these under here too, it just kind of, helps fill in that space there. So we have a nice, pretty flat surface. All right, so I'm gonna use white chalk paste. Ooh, yeah, Tiffany, that would be fun. Definitely you should show me pictures if you do that. All right, so I'm gonna take my white and just gently drag it across the stencil not over and over because we just we want to get a nice crisp word all right so it's kind of fun doing experiments like this not always sure how it's going to turn out So adorable. Okay, you ready? Can you see it? Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Okay, so sealing it with the Mod Podge definitely makes a difference with how crisp your stencil is. That's adorable. Now, if you want to give this more of a finished look, you could come back and... Um, paint the edges if you want you could glue some i would guess that'd be about three eighths let me see half inch half inch ribbon all the way around would be really pretty i love that so cute this would be a fun craft too for like um a girl's night or even like a kid's birthday party if the kids are old enough that's adorable okay where should i put this I guess I'll put it up here for right now while it dries. Okay, what should we do on the other one that's already sealed? This one's lighter, so um, we'll, have, we'll probably do black on this one. We could do the uh, Faith, Hope, Love. I don't know. I'm not in love with this. I might just leave this one blank just to show like an example because I'm not super in love with how it turned out. But, um, you know, it was a first try. Okay, so this one now that we just did together, which I love, is so pretty. It's dry enough that I can do a light layer of my matte finish Mod Podge. So I'm going to get a brush here. Oh, good. I'm so glad you guys are loving this. Super easy, right? Okay, just doing a light layer of the Mod Podge so it doesn't take too long to dry. All right. This 
is so pretty. I love this. All right. So when you've got the Mod Podge on, it kind of mutes it. But then when it's dry, it'll be back to, you know, clear. You'll be able to see all of that through there. Yay. I'm so glad you guys are liking this. All right. So let me just close up my chalk paste here for a second. And let's try one of the boards. One of the flat... I guess these are called canvas boards, not wrapped canvas. So I had these left over because down in my basement, I did uh, a Scrabble tile wall with all of our names. I should post a picture of that sometime. Um, and I used these eight by eight boards as the tiles. I painted them black. Oh, did I paint them black? I think I painted them gray. Um, and then did the letters in black. Yeah, you guys should try it. There you go, Sheila. Have some fun. These particular ones have like a stand on the back, but doesn't matter. It won't be in our way. All right, so what colors should we do for this one? Let's get my, so I'll just kind of ignore my square I drew because this square is bigger than, um, than this one that we did on here. So let's see, what colors do you think? Should we do, I'm really like, so this was purple, pink, yellow, and teal. Anybody have a color combo that you like? Maybe it's just two colors. Maybe, let's see, maybe some green. Lighter colors would look cute with one of the wooden bunnies. Yes, yes. That's the other thing. You don't have to stencil on this. You could have kids make this background and then put their school picture on here or something to give as a gift to grandma or something. Super cute. How about green? How about green, pink, and purple? These are kind of fun spring colors, right? All right, so I'm just going to, again... a hole in there okay I think this marker is a little dead let's get a different green that's the other thing about church markers right <laughs> sometimes you got to go through and throw out the dry one Black, red, and gray. Okay, we'll do another one with those colors. All right. So again, here's our here's our blobs of color, and I would say just tell the the kids to not let any of the colors and markers touch each other. Okay, we'll spray a tiny bit of water in here. I sprayed some on the canvas board. Oh. And then I stayed to the, the square, so I'm going to need to do more outside the edges, or I'll pick it up and move it towards the edges. Yeah, the bad thing about purple is that it kind of overpowers everything else. Okay. So I, I think that that might happen with black, if I do black. Okay, we've got lots of excess here. Let's try to... This is the other cool thing. If you blow it with the heating tool... Maybe get some fun designs going. Kind of moving around a little bit. Okay, this is what I'm finding with the board is it doesn't seem to be able to absorb into the canvas. 
so it's not nearly as bright. It's staying more on the surface. But I'll show you what I mean. It, it looks kind of cool, especially when it's dry. Hi, Tita. I do have pink. We used pink on this one. So this is all an experiment, right? I think because this, because this is the board and doesn't have air behind it, like on a wrapped canvas, um, the, the marker seems to be a lot more muted. Does that make sense? It looks, it looks different. It just looks lighter. So there's a couple spots that still are not all the way dry. But when those dry, I will show it to you. I definitely think I like the canvas, the wrapped canvas look better. It just seems to be brighter because I think it can um, absorb the color into the canvas because it doesn't have a board right behind it, if that makes sense. Oh, this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm not used to crafting on the corner of my desk. All right, so this one is almost dry. This is the one that we did first. I've got one more square. Um, I really liked the blue. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the black. I feel like the black is just going to overpower all the other colors. Um, Rita, what other colors are you thinking with pink? What about the... What about just the pink, blue, and yellow instead of, and leave the purple out? Red, orange, yellow. Ooh, that would be like a sunrise. Let me see red. Okay. Let's do that. This is my last small square one. I almost could just do red and yellow because we're going to get orange where they mix, right? So why don't I just do red and yellow? Maybe I'll do a little bit of orange. All right, we'll just add a little bit of orange. Well, that is not a good orange. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, spritz just a little bit or mist a little bit of water on there, a little bit on here. And watch the magic. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. So yeah, definitely up in the corners, it's a little harder to get the colors to blend together. You really gotta work it up there and then maybe just spritz a little bit more water. This one's gonna look like fire. Okay. Ooh, very drippy. Okay, let's get the heating tool. Got a big drip that's gonna go down the side there. <laughs> there we go. This is so fun. Now I've also 
um, thought about you could use this idea on note cards. You could um, use some watercolor paper or just some thicker white card stock and do this same idea on some some of that card stock or cards that are already uh, you know made, cut, folded and make some really pretty note cards. This one's gonna be super pretty when it's all dry too. Yeah, I definitely think the wrapped canvas is better for this than the boards. The boards just don't have anywhere for the for the watercolor to go. What do you think about that one? You know what would be really pretty on this? To do um, a heart, in, maybe in some scrapbook paper to put on the center. That would be really pretty too. All right, I gotta clean up some marker juice mess here. Okay. So who's excited? Who's going to try this? What I love is that it's not complicated um, supplies, pretty basic stuff. I would love to see what you guys come up with. All right. Okay, so this one needs to dry. I have to keep track now of where we are. So here's the first one we did. I had um, watercolored this before I came live, dried it, sealed it with matte finish Mod Podge, and then we stenciled Hello with white chalk paste. And now once that dries, I will seal it with um, probably a clear spray, clear matte spray. So pretty. And then I'm not sure yet what I'll do with the um with the edges i do want to kind of finish it though i may just paint it black or something we'll see all right let's look at this one this is the board now it's not terrible it's kind of a cool effect with those purple blobs it's kind of nice you might want to try it with the boards maybe a little bit less water good I'm so glad you guys are going to try this. Yeah, this is pretty. We'll have to um, do something with that. Okay, and then this one, the Mod Podge is still drying. This one we just did a little bit ago. So we'll let that Mod Podge finish drying. That seems to be the longest step. All right, I think this one, these two are going to be ready for Mod Podge here. Yeah, these dry pretty quick, the, the wrapped canvases. All right, so let's get some Mod Podge on these, and then maybe the other one will be ready to stencil. So fun. All right, we'll flip it around. This one probably was not dry all the way. I feel like I'm mixing the colors. Okay, so that's another thing. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry, but I feel like maybe I smeared the colors on that one. We'll have to see. All right, but we know that this one is dry. I'm gonna get a different brush on the canvas. Oh, the reverse canvas. Yes, we were gonna do that, weren't we? 
That one is going to require some removing of staples. Well, I don't have to remove the staples. We can just cut around them. Normally, if I'm doing a reverse canvas that I'm maybe going to sell, I really try to take the time to remove all the staples, make it look really um, nice on the back. All right, so there's our Mod Podge on the red, orange, and yellow. Yeah, they're just Crayola markers, Sheila. Regular old Crayola markers. Big old bucket of them from church. All right, maybe we could do reverse canvas on this one. Let me just dry the Mod Podge a little bit more. All right, that is dry. So now I'm gonna flip this over. And the easiest way to get the canvas off is to take your little knife and go on the outside of the staples all the way around. down a little bit on the side there. That'll be okay though. Okay. So then I should be able to unwrap. Sometimes the corners are a little tricky because they're folded over. One corner. Got to kind of manhandle it a little bit. Now the other thing you can do if you have the time and you're not live <laughs> is you can go around with a staple remover and remove all the staples. All right, so there we go. I've unpeeled it now and then we can just kind of like rip, rip these pieces. So the staples will be hidden by the canvas, but they may make it not flat. So, oh, the brushes, these are just from Walmart. They're plaid brushes. My big wide brushes that I'm using. All right, this is one of, another one of my great tools. This is a staple remover. When I first started doing videos, I was using <laughs> a flathead screwdriver to try to get the staples out of the back of the canvas. And one of my viewers was very uh, kind and sent this to me. And it really does make quick work of getting these staples out. Now I'm doing this because we're gonna reattach the canvas where these staples are and I want it to be flat. I don't want it to have bumps from staples being in it. So I might have even put this in my Amazon storefront because I was so impressed with it. So it's got kind of like a, a tip that you just kind of dig under the staple and then, oh, that one's really deep. There we go, and get it out. 
Okay, so if we're going to do reverse canvas with that really pretty... Okay, so this is what the front of the frame looks like. Really nice. So what color... What color should we paint the frame? Should we paint it white? Black? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. While I clean up my mess here. Because with a... I mean, I guess you could leave it plain wood. But part of the cool thing about doing a reverse canvas is that you can you can then uh, paint your frame. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim this. I'm gonna trim right around my square where my color is. White, white, yellow, black. Okay, we need a couple more votes. Uh, yes, no, these are Michael's crates um, because I found that they were a little more uniform, not perfectly, but a little more uniform in size and shape. And for Michael's, you they're 99 cents each. And sometimes there's even a coupon that makes them cheaper. And um, I could order a whole case of them. So those are Michael's crates. And then each of these four are glued wood glued together. And I made four columns, and then I glued the columns together, and then I have another set over there. Yes, it, they took it took a while, but it was very, very worth it. Okay, I'm seeing lots of color choices. I think I'm gonna go. Well, I'm probably going to do a black stencil on this. So I think I'm going to do black. I don't have a teal that's going to match that or a purple. So I think I'm going to go with black. You, when you make yours, you do whatever color you guys want. Hi, Peggy. Oop. I just pushed the button for my table and it made it go up. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Then I think also, I'm gonna wanna stencil this before I attach the frame to it so that it's easier to lay my stencil down. Okay, what's in your way? Mod Podge is in your way. My glue bottle, there we go. All right, the other thing that I like to do with these wood frames is also um, the antique wax. Looks really nice too. Now, I will say if you buy wrapped canvases at Dollar Tree, the wood frames inside are not this nice. Um, again, these were from that Mondo brand, the Target craft aisle. Um, Michaels always has really good deals on canvases and they have tons of different sizes. Their frames inside, if you're gonna do reverse canvas, are really nice. So I just wouldn't try to do a reverse canvas with a Dollar Tree wrapped canvas. I mean, you can, it's just the wood frame inside is not as nice. It's kind of, I don't know. It's like scrap wood. Not very smooth and okay, I'm going to run out of space to hold. So my fingers might get a little dirty. That's okay. I want to get this done quick so we can stencil the canvas. Which stencil should we use? That's such a bright, a bright canvas with the pink and purple and teal and yellow. All right. Almost done. Okay, so where to put this? <laughs> we will set this back here to dry. All right, hi Karen. Haven't been to Michael's in a year or so. I know, I really only go to Michael's for certain things. Let me get a 
wipe to clean my fingers. All right, so we need to decide what stencil we want to put on this beautiful canvas that we made. Okay. What do you guys think? I showed some options. We could do one of the home ones. Um, faith, hope, love. I've got the bless this home. Oh, you know what I didn't even look at is all my five by sevens. Let's see. That would be cute. Ooh, we got the pray forever and ever. Amen. Let me see. These are Christmas. We've got let your light shine. I don't think, well, this one we could just do the words, but we could do let your light shine maybe. Ooh, God is good. What about God is good? God is good. I also have blessed. I think I'm going to do God is good. Simple. It'll fit inside the space we have here. Let's see. I want to make sure. So a little bit of the G down here might be, might get cut off the smaller G, but I think that'll be okay. Ooh, that's going to be cute. What do you guys think? You excited for that one? Yeah, God is good. Do the one that makes you the happiest. Thanks, Pam. I just think it'll look really pretty on that bright background. Okay. Buzz it a couple times. And remember, I did do a Mod Podge over the watercolor marker. And we let that dry. Make sure I've got it as centered as I can. All right, let's get our black chalk paste. So sprinkling is really a Facebook thing. Um, on on YouTube, you can't really, I mean, I think you can share and then, so there should be like a little arrow button and it'll ask you where you want to share. Like you could share it to Facebook, but the sprinkling is really um, on Facebook. All right. These would be a really nice, um, low cost, as far as supplies, item that you could make for a craft show as well. That thought just came to me. Oh, that looks so good. I get that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So simple. The stencil is so simple, but then with that background, it just really makes it pop. <laughs> Lisa, that's funny. Okay, so we're going to let that one dry. Yeah, see what I did? The board I smeared. I mean, it still looks cool, but the marbly effect is gone. It You can see like the brush strokes. I'll probably end up painting over this one and doing something else with it. Definitely, I think the, um, the wrapped canvases are the way to go. 
All right, so here's our first one where we just stenciled on top of the canvas. And then this one, when it's dry and when the frame is dry, then we'll put glue around and we'll glue the frame to the top. So that'll be even better because it'll have that nice finished frame. And then I usually do a few staples in the back through the canvas back into the frame. Yeah, pretty uh, cover for a junk journal. Hey, Kristen. Kristen's the newest member of Team Magnolia Monarchs. Welcome. All right. Cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this idea. Again, all you need are some little canvases. You can use the Dollar Tree ones and um, a sheet of plastic, some Crayola markers, a little spritz bottle of water, and make some really pretty backgrounds that you can then stencil on and make some neat little gifts, nice craft you can do with some friends some kids or some grandkids. Awesome. So I think that's about all we can do. This one is still drying. So I will, um, I'll stencil something on this and show you, it looks like I touched the Mod Podge. I need to smooth that out a little bit. And I will show you this. So I'll show you all three in a picture. The hello, the God is good reverse canvas. And then this one, whether I do reverse canvas or just keep it um, on the front of this. So I'm going to sign off. I am going live one more time this week um, tomorrow on my Facebook page at 3 p.m. with another paper crafting tutorial. You're not going to want to miss it. It's very, very fun, and it makes a really cool book. So I will put a teaser picture earlier in the day tomorrow to remind you of my live tomorrow on Facebook. I will have a new video for you this Sunday evening. I know it's the Super Bowl. Um, I'm going to start posting my Sunday night videos at 8.30 p.m. There's another YouTuber that I like to watch. She posts hers at 8, so I'm just going to do mine a little bit later So because I know I have people that watch both of us. So... Thanks so much, everybody, and I will see you very soon. I can't even reach my iPad because my table is up way too high. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.